So you're moving to the villages and you've been searching and trying to find the best area to call home? Well, you've come to the right place. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Spanish Springs Square and everything around us so you can make a better decision on where you wanna live in Florida's friendliest hometown. Let's get into it. What's up everyone and welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is James Havlin. I'm a local realtor here in the Villages with Realty Executives. If you want to know everything about living in the Villages, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you click that little bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. We get dozens of calls every day from people just like you who are looking to move to the Villages and we absolutely love it. We do, we really do. If you're looking to move to the villages or anywhere in Central Florida, then give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, days, nights, weekends, it doesn't matter. However you gotta get a hold of us, because we got your back when moving here, okay? So here's a little backstory on Spanish Springs. The Spanish Springs Square first opened back in 1994 as the first town square in the villages. In just a few minutes, we're gonna go over to the historic side of the villages. All right, we'll check that out. The villages designed this area to sort of pay homage to the early Spanish settlers of Florida. At Florida, excuse me, as you can see from all the exteriors of the shops and the restaurants here in Spanish Springs. And don't forget, there is free, that's right, free entertainment every night in all three squares. And I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun with friends and family on the square. And if you're not having fun, then you and I should have a talk because this is supposed to be your retirement. You know what I mean? Look at this. Look how hot it is out here. You know what? If you're surrounded by friends, family, and neighbors who are dancing, singing, and having a good time with their favorite cocktail in their hand and you're still not having fun, then call me and I'll come by and make sure you have fun because this face right here would make anybody giggle. Trust me, I know. Also, keep in mind that Spanish Springs also features different events throughout the year, such as um, holiday celebrations, parades like St. Patty's Day, Cinco de Mayo, um, Christmas tree lighting ceremony. So you always wanna be sure to stay on top of the many events that the Villages has to offer, okay? Let's check out some things in the area.
All right, so now we're gonna cross over Highway 27 slash 441 over to the original section of the villages. Orange Blossom Gardens. A second, I gotta get in the gate here. All right, enter, enter, enter. And here's a little side note for, for you to know. Buena Vista Boulevard and Morse Boulevard are the two roads in the villages that go from the north ends of the villages all the way down to the south area of the villages. Buena Vista starts at Highway 42 and goes all the way south to Highway 44 and Morse Boulevard, which goes from the north end all the way down past 44 to the newest addition, uh, just barely north of the Florida Turnpike. But I'll show you that on the map. Let's go. All right, everybody, like I was just talking about with uh, Morse Boulevard and Buena Vista. So this right here, oh, let me get up here. Get my lines going. So this is Highway 42, and then this right here is Buena Vista. It goes all the way from the north, all the way down, just past Highway 44. This is the south part of the village right here. And then Morse Boulevard is right up here. And that goes all the way down, all the way down, past 44, and comes right about here, and then there's a roundabout right here. This is the new part of the villages that they're still developing down there. So we'll, we'll get rid of that, get rid of all that. So this is the area that this whole video is about, which is Spanish Springs. <clears throat> this is Spanish Springs Square. This is the historic side, all this right here. This is uh, what we're going to be looking at. And this is that Highway 27 slash 44 that we crossed over. So this is what all the video is about. I just want to show you on the map so you can kind of get a visual of what I was talking about with Morse and Buena Vista Boulevard. And that's it. Let's get back to the video. So here's a little history lesson. In the early 1970s, Howard Sh uh, Schwartz, excuse me, turned his focus from mail order land sales to land development. Schwartz, along with his business par partner, Al Tarson, founded Orange Blossom Gardens, which we just went through, which is a mobile home park here in Central Florida. If you have a smaller budget or you're not really concerned with having a bigger home and still want to enjoy everything the Villages has to offer, then this would probably be the area for you. So I would suggest uh, when we look for a home for you, you mention that and we'll, we'll certainly take care of you. So as I mentioned before, this is the historic side of the Villages. So if you have a lower budget, like around the 200 mark or even below, or you know, a little bit above, and you want to still enjoy everything the Villages has to offer, then this would be the area for you. This side has a lot of history too. I mean, it is the original. This is where it all started. I think after building this, they thought to themselves, man, we really got something here. And then, boom, the rest was history. See that water tower up ahead? There's several of those throughout the villages. Now, over on this side, you're gonna find a lot of manufactured homes because, like I said, that's what it all started out as. have some folks reach out and they say that the villages is not affordable there's no way you can live in the villages that's that's not true that's so not true I mean this proves it right over here this is the original section the historic section you can get homes over here for under 200,000 and still enjoy everything that the villages has to offer so I don't want to hear that it's not affordable because there's price ranges for everybody out there
that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, which I hope you are, but if you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well and that little bell, click on that, so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And make sure you take care of yourself, especially in that Florida heat, stay hydrated. And until next time, see you on the next one. See ya.